Hey guys, HMK here once again, and we have a brand new Kingdom Hearts 3 image that was shown up on Saturday. Yes, Kingdom Hearts. Oh my god, HMK still does those videos. Oh my god. Like, I thought he left behind, but nah, yeah. Uh, Zelda time. You know, it's Zelda time, so um, that really has been pervading my channel for the most part. But don't worry, Kingdom Hearts has not been left behind. It's just that I've been doing a, a lot of focus on Zelda. And also, uh, I apologize for making this video so late. It's because I've been out of my house on the weekend, so I didn't really have time to have my rig or to do anything like that. If you see my past video on uh, a Zelda screenshot, I had to do it from my phone and my laptop. So please forgive me on that. But let's take a look at this brand new image from Kingdom Hearts 3. Dang, my boy Namora. Yo, this looks great. As you can see here, this actually takes place in the cities of Thebes, which is an area in the movie Hercules, which we'll be returning to in the form of Mount Olympus. But it looks like it's going to be a lot more than just Mount Olympus. We've seen the Mount Olympus trail. We've been up to Mount Olympus. We've seen the mountain. And now we have the area of Thebes, which takes place um, in the movie where Hercules goes and, you know, he tries to get his heroism out and shows that, oh, it looks like you guys need a hero. And then that's when he um, first, like, not this particular era, but this is where it leads to um, the moment he takes down the Hydra. And then everyone's like, oh, Hercules, Hercules. Um, I can't really see because of the smoke, but it could be that is a statue of Hercules behind this gigantic, massive, heartless, oh my goodness. This boss battle looks hella good. And, yo... Nomura and Square Enix are going in, but there's some little details that I want to talk about. First off is the Harlots, the Harlots himself or itself or whatever. Uh, Sora is not particularly locked onto it, but uh, it shows the targeting reticle over the Heartless. I want to assume the face of the Heartless, but check out that HP bar. That HP bar seems very small, like very, very small. So um, it could either mean one or two things. One, this Heartless actually turns out to be a scrub. Or two, you're going to have to destroy parts of this Heartless because we've seen uh, fights like that before in Kingdom Hearts where you have to destroy particular parts of the Heartless and then those parts would have its own life bar, HP bar, and then when you take it out, you just keep fighting. So maybe you have to break some of this Heartless's armor because it looks like he is down and dirty with a bunch of pieces of armor. Um, you can see shoulder pads, uh, wristband gauntlets, uh, atop a helmet even though his face is his, uh, <laughs> is his body, you know, designs or whatever. Yeah, but let's take a look at Sora. Sora is now in what Namor claims to be the power form. Now, before we've seen uh, Sora attain this form uh, in previous screenshots where he had two forms, a power form and a guard form. And a lot of us assume that the yellow one is the guard form because he's using the shield. And the power form was the red one because he was using a hammer, which is, you know, from what we've seen in all types of video games, it's a very offense-based weapon. And, uh, of course, the shield is a guard weapon. So we assume that um, the yellow form meant the guard form. But according to Namora, it is the power form, right? And then he goes on to say that the Keyblade, while in the power form, can transform into many things. And one of those things is the chariot that the Hercules-based Keyblade can transform into. But right now, he's using it as a shield and it looks like he's blocking an attack from this Heartless. Now, let's take a look at Sora's icon here on his life bar. And boy, look at that magic. Boom. You got a lot of magic, my man. But anyways, Sora's uh, picture here is a bit updated. It looks a lot better, more cleaner, and it looks like the shading is done here on Sora's face and the shadows on his hair and his hair over his face. So that looks really cool. And now they have his little necklace hanging over the HP bar like they always do in all the Kingdom Hearts games. Which is neat. It's neat. It's neat. Now, the last thing I want to point out is the command bar. And uh, from what we hear from translations, it is now updated to the list of the commands, which is attack, magic, item and link instead of summon so that is very peculiar you know a lot of people are saying a lot of things about this update maybe people are saying that oh instead of summons we're gonna link with our dream eaters in kingdom hearts 3 which would make sense since this game is off the heels of dream drop distance and Sora's like oh i need to go uh, talk to my friends i want to say goodbye to my friends um which is weird but i want to see how uh this really plays out how link could be summons or summons could be link Maybe it could even be that um, your friends that you make friends with throughout your journey, like maybe Aladdin or Hercules, you get to link with them and then summon them through the process. Similar to how you summon Peter Pan in Kingdom Hearts 2, even though he was an ally in Kingdom Hearts 1. Maybe they'll just, you know, flesh that out a little bit more. We'll have to wait and see. All in all, this screenshot is very exciting, and I can't wait to see what more we get of Kingdom Hearts 3 because I'm still waiting on that big news and update this winter because winter ends at the end of March, people. So sit tight. Put away your torches and pitchforks until after winter is over. So guys, let me know what you think about this awesome image of Kingdom Hearts 3, this boss, Source Forum, the increased shading, lighting, all that good jazz. Let me know in the comment section below and until the next Kingdom Hearts based video. Don't worry, they're coming, they're not stopping. I've been HMK, and I'll check you guys later.